Let's Great. talk about Novartis, which is based in Switzerland and is one of the world's largest healthcare companies. Yeah, so this one comes from the merger of Siba and Sandoz in 1996. They came up with a new name, Novartis, but really it's focusing, it does all sorts of things, but it's focusing on cancer treatments, oncology. That's the area that they really want to be in going forward. In terms of market cap, we need to have a look there. We're at 193.2 billion US dollars, price to earnings ratio 27.1 and a dividend yield here of 3.7%. Can you go wrong with Novartis? Well, I think, you know, when we just look at what, what's been happening earnings-wise with Novartis, they've had some competition for their two sort of big big drivers, they've had, or for their, some of their biggest drugs. Um, they've also had, sort of, you know, a lot of money that they had to invest and spend in Alcon. Um, they, they've the, the optical um, side of the business. But also, you know, there's a lot of pipeline um, developments in Novartis where they actually su um, substitute the uh, off-patent medicine or medicine that's going off-patent with, with over-the-counter and, and, and different sort of um, substitution medicines, which is, is great in a big company like this, which makes it sort of a sustainable income stream over the long term. Like I said, a little bit of headwinds. They also have the currency risk due to the fact that we see them, you know, they're Swiss, Swiss based and they, the majority of their sales are still in the US. So, um, little concerns, but I think over the long term, this is a company that you can hold with quite, um, quite satisfactory. Paul, are you advice. or your clients invested? No, we're not. The reason we talked about it is that it's probably the second largest by market cap. I'm not sure about that. Probably Pfizer, Merck. Glaxo in that category, Johnson Johnson is larger. Let's look at the share chart. You can see it hasn't done all that well in the last year or so. It sort of sagged and went sideways and it's partly earnings related and partly some concerns about some of their blockbuster new stuff coming through. The major cancer drug they have, which you may have heard of, is called Gleevec, which is an orally taken cancer drug, which has been fantastic in dealing with leukemia and a lot of new uh, ailments, very expensive. But of course, the oncologists want to prescribe it. Then it's got this portfolio of other stuff, like Lamisil, which you take for athlete's foot. You know, that's been around a while. Or like Diclofenac, which is the active ingredient in Voltaren. Okay, so like, you know, people take that for days. And then a whole slew of other things. They've spun off stuff like Gerber, which is the baby food, and they spun off, mm -hmm. you know, other bits and pieces. Interesting that they bought Alcon. Alcon is the number two uh, in contact lenses. Well, I think we must take cognizance of what you're both saying yes. here. There are headwinds, as Mia has set out. So on that note, hot or not? Well, I think it's a, it's sort of a long-term stable big player that you can go with mm. if you're keen on that. So I think when you compare healthcare for me to all other sectors, I'm pretty hot on most of the, of, of the offerings in there. So oh, I'm yeah. going hot, 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 well. hot, hot or not on Nova. Yeah, I like the focus on cancer drugs because mm. the big deal they did last year is they basically did a swap, which is quite unusual in uh, M&A with Glaxo, where they swapped, they gave Glaxo their vaccine portfolio and they swapped it for Glaxo's cancer portfolio. And there was kind of a matching financial payment. So Glaxo then gets to focus on vaccines globally, which you know sounds all good and well. But the Nova, Novartis, Novartis underpin is cancer, cancer. cancer related drugs. And I think you drugs. know cancer because you understand what's going on here. People are not dying of heart disease. They're not dying of um, you know mental problems related to suicides. They're not dying of all sorts of lifestyle diseases they used to die of, but of course. Now they're getting cancer. More people are getting cancer because it's just one I of those progressive well, I mean, things. The research that and development in this healthcare space can, in one day, mm. turn around a story if you hit on the right drug. They got lots thing of stuff on phase three. To mention of them is they're also going into a lot of malaria development and and research. So hopefully there mm. comes something of that as well. And a Africa, obviously, yes. the appropriate uh, place for look. There's one point. I know I've gone over time here, but yes, you because they Swiss. It's the same as Nestle and the same as a couple of other Swiss companies. They have a 35% dividend withholding tax, which is a real bugger because if you own them, True. you don't get your full dividend. You know, 35% goes to the Swiss government and it's quite complicated if you want to try and get yes. it back. But notwithstanding that, I like it. I think it's hot and I think the cancer focus is attractive. 